thing is that I was actually looking through the comment section and lots of Ghanaians were there. This does not represent us, this is not who we are, and stuff. When you see videos like that about Nigerians, you believe it represents them. At your attempt at trying to paint Ghanaians as same as you, also put some things into consideration. Give me money. Stop. Money. 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 Unbelievable. Corrupt Nigerian cops caught extorting tourists and YouTuber Norali from the Netherlands. Anna, how they go? Abuja. Abuja. Uh, yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah, give me something now. What you want give me? Oh, yeah, give me something. Oh, yeah, give me something now. Give me something. <laughs> you give me something. <laughs> give me money. 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 Yeah. It's not like Ghanaians or South Africans are judging us via the things they see on the news. It's via the things that they see with their eyes. Do we have a Ghanaian yo boy in Nigeria? They born and well. No, just close your eye like this. Close your eyes. If our own. He was so enamored with her, he unwittingly paid over seven hundred thousand dollars for a stake in the non-existent mine. The money was a red flag for Ghanaian detective Gerald Pangpadi as Aivo was unemployed. Hi guys, greetings everyone and welcome back again to another video. Thank you so much for allowing me grace your screen. If you're new, please join my amazing subscribers by subscribing to the channel and then turn on the bell so that anytime I upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. We are still on that topic because as long as this continues, we'll continue to talk about it. Please like this video for me. Like I stated in maybe the video before this, I do not react to people's video because I have issues with them or because i love them i react to you according to the action so i do not discriminate i treat everybody the same according to your action so that is why i'm reacting to this video of a nigerian woman who went to dig old stories about a ghanaian internet froster and she posted it on her platform and have other nigerian yahoo boys clapping for her and feeling good it's never going to solve our problems okay never i'm going to play some part of the video i'll come back and give my one two cent to it i beg you you can skip the part of her own video but do not skip my own opinion because it is very important for both Ghanaians and nigerians and anybody regardless of where you're watching from or where you are from originally <laughs> Down a dusty alley in Accra, young men cast off their true identities as they enter this apartment. They call it their hustle kingdom. Meet Ghana's Yahoo Boys, online criminal syndicates who prey on elderly Americans by tricking them into falling in love. Then he was so enamored with her, he unwittingly paid over $700,000 for a stake in the non-existent mine. The money was a red flag for Ghanaian detective Gerald Pangpadi as Aivo was unemployed. Aivo was arrested but died of an unknown illness before serving prison time. The funny thing is that I was actually looking through the comment section and lots of Ghanaians were there. This does not represent us. This is not who we are and stuff. When you see videos like that about Nigerians, you believe it represents them. You believe that every Nigerian now must be a scammer, including myself. But you see this kind of video now come up about Ghanaians doing this type of thing in Ghana. You come out and be like, this does not represent us. But, but that is who we are as Nigerians. When you see videos like this, whether you are Ghanaian, South African, whatever part of the world you are from, and you are used to being, you are better than other people, sitting on one type of moral eye horse and judging the whole population of Nigeria by a few people think about this then you don't want to be judged by the deeds of your fellow countrymen that are on the news like these ones that we just watched so don't judge other people by the deeds of a few people that you see on the news as well because that is what Nigerians have been dealing with but I see a lot of Ghanaians now defending themselves coming out that is how it feels now guys this video is on is not necessarily a video to gloat you know, even though if I am gloating, I have every right. I have every right to gloat because some of you be acting all holier than thou. Like on my videos, people will come to my channel and start like blabbing and frothing at the mouse. Like, um, please, your people are the one causing all our this thing here. They are the ones doing this here and this one here. They are the ones doing everything. Some of you are just a bunch of clowns because I don't get it. 
you guys be acting like your people are some type of saints you know like some like your people are some type of angels saints that cannot do bad like your people cannot do anything that is not good or anything that will be considered bad and so you guys do not get me wrong i am not in any ways supporting the yahoo guys i mean so you guys i have an opinion to make but i do not want to be misunderstood i beg you i'm not trying to in any way say that what the guys did is right it is wrong it is wrong it doesn't matter if you're Ghanaian, nigerian south african american britain a german wrong is wrong all right so i'm not in any ways making case for them i mean i'm not making case for the ghana yao boys as said in the video but i have a problem with this video because this nigerian lady for her is about the yastic mm -hmm. so my people can continue to destroy our image after all your own too they are doing it but my dear let me educate you on something do you know that i know you will see this video because of course your picture will make it to the thumbnail uh, that is me how daring i can be so do you know that whatever Ghanaians are doing they are doing it in their own country do we have a Ghanaian yaw boy in nigeria they born and well no just close your eye like this close your eyes if our own are running away from home why do you think their own has the gut to come there go to nigeria and search you will never find a yaw boy from ghana never you will never see now i'm talking about you can find them in ghana i mean yeah because Ghanaians are not perfect they are human but have you thought of it this way they are doing it in their house in their homeland in their country mm, those are the bad eggs we have been talking about it's good it's good to know that ghana is not perfect not every Ghanaian is an angel but the fun part and the most beautiful and honorable part in it is that they do it in their own home country but our own they export it to other people's country and cost me and you the so-called you're not a scammer because they cause us to be all classified as one they cause us to all be the same they paint us with the same brush because your brother my brother export their own to south africa to ghana to Benin republic to cameroon to other african countries this is where i have a problem with this video otherwise you are right okay Ghanaians too they have bad eggs mm, but at least they are not supporting their own like you and i are doing in fact like you are doing i do not support and i will never do now how many nigerian yahoo boys in nigeria have been arrested just because huge amount of money entered their accounts i would like to know how many of them have you heard that got arrested because huge amount of money is entered the account but this one a bank in ghana saw that huge amount of money have entered a particular account so they have to like notify the police a detective and say come and check oh, we are seeing something strange this guy doesn't have a job because all the data will be displayed they will check the guy bank's verification number and they will realize that this guy um, what does he do for a living they will check everything they will investigate they will trace him to where he lives they will realize that this guy is jobless so where did he get this kind of money from so they reported him to the police and he was arrested by the Ghanaian police and taken to court and charged to court for his crime if it was to be back at home would that happen i mean seven hundred thousand dollars first of some of the bank managers would wouldn't have a problem with it as long as they will get at least fifty thousand dollars from that money fifty thousand dollars from that money they'll keep quiet and withdraw that money and give to this guy or maybe let's say they'll get like hundred thousand dollars from him so that they can use 50 to settle their gas the cbn the cbn auditor that will come to their bank to audit accounts account statements they will use it to settle him or her they will settle 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 till they settle to the top so the matter will not make it to the top where where it will arose curiosity and make EFCC want to act. And the EFCC said, a guy with $700,000, EFCC will arrest a guy like that. And you think he will go to prison? No, prison. He will not even be. In fact, all he needs to do is just to settle them with maybe $200,000. And the matter would die down. At your attempt at trying to paint Ghanaians as same as you, also put some things into consideration. They didn't support this guy. You can see the police got him arrested. 
he was going to go to prison and here they arrest you today tomorrow you are due for court they don't keep it like our own where they will arrest a murderer today and 15 years later they will tell you the murderer is still not in court the case is still not in court it's still in detention and if you go there and check you realize that most of them that have money are not even in that cell so what are you saying are you trying to use this now as a yardstick to support the bad things that our people are doing and i'll have another correction to make it's not like Ghanaians or south africans are judging us via the things they see on the news it's via the things that they see with their eyes i live in ghana my sister i live you know my sister basically i live in ghana and i know what's up do you understand no you don't can we stop making case in and call evil by its name when you are doing it to Ghanaians, you call it cruise when Ghanaians, south africans and other countries are doing back to you you call it hate you will come out here why do they hate us so why do they hate us so they are jealous of us jealous of your suffering you don't have electricity i said i want to go home i know fee go Mm, my mama kneel down they beg me don't come home because when you come here you start frowning face and start acting depressed we don't have electricity focus on that why haven't you try your best to post a video of something reasonable from nigeria so that people maybe the government can see or something or other people can see and talk about it you're always out there bantering with other african countries bantering with them why your people are living in the, in these countries you are putting everybody at risk you are risking our lives thank god for the peacefulness of a regular Ghanaian who will not transfer his aggression from the internet to us that are living here if not all the things that you and Achim are doing to us Nigerians in the name of promoting Nigeria it would have gotten some of us into deep trouble yeah I know we received those hates from a few Ghanaians just because of your videos but what you guys are doing to us is bad and I want you to know it stop this thing Ghanaians do not support their people to do evil like we support our own when you don't support you label the person sell out please focus on the content about nigeria leave ghana out of it leave ghana okay i've told you to try visit the gym i haven't been to the gym in two months and i know how i feel i have advised you to make out time and go to the gym respect yourself so what you are telling the nigerian yahoo boys now is to continue be but please remember to tell them to come home with the crime come and commit it there let them all leave ghana eh? if not for one thing i wish i have the power i will say all the internet fraudsters in ghana should be sent out of ghana they should be sent back home then you will understand a couple some of you will understand what, what's up what what is happening out here already i'm, I'm tired i'm done with this video i'll see you guys in my next one to do